Good morning, Red Arrow, and happy Friday. Let's see what's cooking in the kitchen for lunch today. Hello, and happy Friday. Today is November the 4th, and today we will be having stuffed breadsticks with marinara sauce and salad. Then we'll have baby carrots, apple slices, and your choice of milk. And we have a few birthdays to announce this weekend. Happy birthday tomorrow, Saturday, November 5th, to Daryl Hicks. It also happens to be my mom's birthday tomorrow on November 5th, and so I can remember that because it's Daryl's birthday, so it means it's my mom's birthday too. It works out really well, so thank you, Daryl, for having that birthday. Also on Sunday, November 6th, we're celebrating these birthdays. Kaylee Hensley, Yehida Reyna, and Matias Torres. All of you enjoy your birthdays and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. We have just a few announcements today. We have several subs in our building. The kindergarten team is doing some curriculum work in the music room. And so kindergarten students, thank you for being respectful, responsible, and safe for our subs and showing them that we take good care of our guest teachers. And I know Mrs. Southworth's class also has a guest teacher today, and I know that you'll take good care of Mrs. Schnepp as well. Uh, let's see. Tonight is a movie night here at Red Arrow, and that's at 6 o'clock. And I believe they start selling the snacks at 5.45 if you would like to come in early and buy snacks and get your spot in the gym. Um, you don't have to buy snacks. You can bring your own snacks. And there's no cost for the movie. You do have to have a grown-up with you if you're coming to watch the movie tonight. Can't come by yourself. Has to have a grown-up. And uh, the movie will be Zootopia. I think that's everything about that. Um... Some people say, can I bring pillows? I would bring a pillow because that gym floor can be kind of hard sometimes. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, we have our assembly today for the healthy hike at 945. And, uh, oh, excuse me, I got an interruption here real quick. Sorry. Miss Kitty, I would love to have the pies thrown all over me. I think it would be a lot more fun than having you take the pies. So please let me take all the pies. Well, there you go. I didn't expect that at all. That was a big surprise. So it looks like we'll be pieing Mrs. Babb today rather than me. So, hey, thanks, Mrs. Babb, for volunteering. I really appreciate that. Uh, one more announcement that the time is changing um, on Sunday. So everyone remember to put your cl clocks back one hour. We fall back. And um, we'll see everybody, of course, at normal time on Monday. But it will feel a little bit later in the day. I think those are, that's everything I believe now, and so let's go ahead and check in and see what the choices are today for Would You Rather. And now for Would You Rather Radically Repulsive with Mason. Would you rather have an extra eye on the back of your head or have an extra arm on your back? Ooh, what would you choose? Huh. I'm thinking if I had a, an eye on the back of my head, I'd always keep like the hair out of the way so I could see. And the arm would be really handy um, so I could scratch my back whenever I wanted to. Or if I drop something behind me, I could pick it up easier. So I'm going to go with that extra arm on my back because I think that'd be pretty cool. What well, about you? What would you choose? Time will tell. Um, I don't know why I said that. That makes no sense, does it? Oh, well. It's Friday. Uh, let's see. Um, I think that's everything. So at this time, would you please stand for the pledge? And now, from Mr. Bat's class, to help us with the pledge, we have... Elliot. Cameron. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job. And before we uh, move forward with our announcements, this just came in. I have a uh, political announcement from Splat the Cat. So take a listen. The most interesting man in the world. Action. Good morning. I normally don't read books about cats. But when I do, I love reading Splats the Cat. It is very interesting, especially when you get into the story about Splat the Cat. This commercial was paid for by the Super Pack for Splat the Cat.
Please vote Splat the Cat for president. Thank you. <laughs> well, thank you, Splat, for that announcement. And as we said before, uh, those views do not represent um, anyone's views running the computer or in the computer view or any of those pieces. So I think that's everything. By the way, another breaking news, I just heard that Pete the Cat has suffered a broken leg. Um, suspicions are around how it happened, but more news as that comes later. With that, have a great day, learners!